And breaking news at 10 now, the mayor of Gresham resigning after more than a decade of service. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And his resignation tonight comes days after both the Gresham police chief and city manager announced they'd be retiring. Our Jacqueline Abad live in Gresham tonight with more on why the mayor is suddenly stepping down. What have you learned, Jacqueline? Well, Jeff, Mayor Shane Abimas says that it's the most difficult decision he's faced, but he's, ta he's taking this time to step away to take care of his business and his family. In a lengthy Facebook post, Mayor Shane Bemis announced his resignation, stating in part, At the current moment, facing a pandemic, a rising, powerful, and necessary social justice movement, and the city's budget woes, all while trying to keep my business afloat, is not tenable. Bemis is a restaurant owner. His restaurant has been closed to dining service since March. In the city, there's been some major shakeups with the police chief and the city manager retiring. Last Wednesday, city council discussed the city manager position. Whatever we decide in the COVID uh, environment, it's going to be very hard to do a search, uh, interview people and whatever in the next six months, I believe, you know, because I think that the community process to a city manager is important. As Mayor Bemis looks towards the future, he's hoping Travis Stovall will take his spot or run for city council. In the coming days, he will be focusing on saving his business and helping his oldest son get ready for college. He says this is not the end of his work in public service. People are wanting more transparency out of all of us. Uh, completely. And, and, I, and I think that is where exactly where we are headed, Councillor. The city public information officer says that councilwoman Janine Gladfelter will serve as interim mayor and Abimus's seat will be up for election in November. Reporting live in Gresham, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News. Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions here. A story will continue to follow tomorrow. Jacqueline, thank you. Also